Two teams with uh, contrasting fortunes and uh, sitting on opposite ends of the MTN Fans Super League brings the board of champions in focus here at the Nchanga Stadium in Chingolas. Brave Nchanga Rangers welcome Power Dynamos. Simply put, it is number 13 versus current log leaders of the Zambian Super Division in this round 30 of the MTN Fans Super League. Yes, that's Nchanga Rangers. They're fighting to stay in the Super Division, well as for... The Power Dynamo side, it's about uh, seeking to win a seventh title and three points in prospect. 29 degrees centigrade is what will be playing out. It's hot here, partly cloudy with uh, 11 kilometers per hour. In terms of the wind speed here at the former Gabita Stadium, Chingolas Nchanga Stadium we are. These are the Power Dynamo's fans. Yes, they've made a trip from Kitwe early this morning. It's been a lot of buses that have been driving down that road. But whether the voices that will be coming through from the stands will be able to match up will be what we'll be waiting for when it comes to the true realization of what will be brought in in terms of the action and the intensity that is possibly, probably, will come through in the playing field this afternoon. So, difficult times it's been for Changa Rangers. Yes, they won promotion into the Zambian Super Division last year, but they're not sitting pretty on the MTN Fans Super League. On that note, we officially welcome you to the Incan to the Nchanga Stadium in Chingola, Copperboy Province. On the left on your side is Power Dynamos, current log leaders. They need only six points from the remaining four games to be crowned as champions of the MTN Fans Super League. But for Nchanga Rangers, it's about swing or sink. They desperately need the points to remain in the Zambian Super Division. Otherwise, it will be about football being in the National First Division. The two teams are led by the match commissioner, Banda, and really an expectant crowd that we have here at the Nchanga Stadium in Chingola. Yes, the same can be said about where you are because, truth be told, this is one of those games you swim, you sink, you lose, squeeze one time may probably come through. So, for Nchanga Rangers yet to draw points in terms of losing at this uh, Nchanga Stadium this season, they'll be hoping to draw inspiration from that. But for Power Dynamos, only two losses this afternoon and there is a concentration, he's basically slapping himself. Wake up time, it's about concentration for Aaron Katebe, the former Mograp Tetuan uh, defender. Now, time to share the two teams' lineups, shall we? We start with Inchanga Rangers. So, they made a very successful trip to Choma, Southern Province, where they beat Green Eagles by two goals to one. But coach Agri Chiang has tinkered around with his team. In comes the number 13, Francis Kasaka, who takes up the place of Kundan Kandu, who is not part of the team this afternoon. Very attack-minded, they come through Pedro Miguel and Ivenge Ikoko to lead the attack. 4-4-2 formation, Kasaka on the left, who comes in, Kambukesa on the right, Chabu as the man between the sticks, and of course, the captain by Chabala and Chibangu in that defense. Power Dynamos using the cliche, if it's not broken, no need to fix it. So coach Muinachi Papers brought the same team that did duty and managed to beat Chambishi by three goals to one in their last fixture. So it's basically the same first 11, Ronan Smlenga, John Soko, Aaron Kate, Faustin Bako Dillon, Captain Luca Chamanga in that uh, defense up front, Andy Bobwa Boyeli, the current log leading, uh, leading goal scorer in the Zambian Super Division, who will reunite yet again with his former teammate at Chambishi Football Club in Kaunda, and uh, Frederick Ngolo Kante Mulambi on the left, Joshua Budom Tale on the right, Linus Makwaza, Owen Tembo in that midfield setup. Our match officiating panel is led by Chan Sachola as the referee, Meki Zulu first assistant, Morgan Shaba as a second assistant, and of course the boardsman, Charles Ngandwe. Well, the usual conferences that come to, two goalkeepers called in, Chavu and, uh, of course, Ronis Mlenga, no time wasting, but it's about the captains to decide the toss of the coin. Luca Chamanga for the Power Dynamo side and uh, the experienced uh, youngster, the 21-year-old Matthews Chabala, as captain for this uh, Changa Rangers side. Well, he came in uh, and is currently on a two-year deal, Agri Chiangi, and... Uh, Big game it is for the 59-year-old former Zambian international, former Power Dynamos player, former Power Dynamos coach, former Power Dynamos captain, coming up against his former side in uh, Power Dynamos. But now sitting on the bench for Nchanga Rangers. Ivenge Ikoko is one uh, that uh, the inspired performers who come through. He hasn't scored so many goals, the GRC man, but uh, he's an integral part of the team. Winyachi Pepo, coach, is really already bubbling with confidence. Probably they've put the ice on the champagne waiting to pop it and have a CPCP, -CP. but that will be decided because they have to wait. They have to get the points this afternoon. Remember, they've got a big game coming up, one of the big derbies on the African continent, Power Dynamos at home against Inkana next week, and that game will be live on the board of champions. Andy Bobwa Boyeli is the leading goal scorer in the Zambian Super Division, and he has so far scored 17 goals in the Zambian uh, Super Leagues, increasing the goal tally that he had earlier on had when he was with Chambishi Football Club, and Luca Chamanga took Second game, he's starting on that left-back position. The younger brother of the former Zambian international, James Chamanga. 
the Angolan Pedro Bengi Miguel is one uh, that they look for. Six goals he has scored so far this season. Command of Sagrada in the Angolan League. Such an imposing figure he is even as uh, the go to upload the fans here are the Changa Rangers uh, players. Of course, the next game will be away against the pensioners, Napsa Stars, who are keenly following this one, seeing that Napsa is currently seeking second on the MTN Fast Super League. But remember, Napsa have got another business in that tomorrow they come up against Chambishi Football Club. That is business for tomorrow. All eyes on Chansachola, the match referee. And it will be Power Dynamos who will be getting us underway here. They'll be defending the goal on the right, looking very immaculate in the traditional white away strip. And of course, the Changa Rangers. Yellow tops with a patch of blue being the home colors. So, Chansachola just making sure everything is in place. And most importantly, probably the communication, because this is one match that promises to be one of high intensity, I reckon. So, we tell you, grab the front row seat so you don't miss a thing. So, then, scene set. And uh, here we go now for the first half here at the Changa Stadium in Chingola. It is round 30 of the MTN Fast Super League. Bravo, Bravo Changa Rangers. Up against powerful power dynamos, Aba Yellow, Eba Abako, Aba Usaka, so say their supporters. And the match commentator, Matimba Konja International. And looks like we being uh, the experience, Musonda Chibulu. And together, we hope to break it down this afternoon. Big game it is, even as I welcome you from Pitside, we're having a chat with Gaspar Ngulube and of course Kenneth Babo Manitou. But already there's an attack offside corner. Absolutely a fantastic game to look forward to, which has implications both at the top. And at the bottom, in 1998, at this stage, you would think that Nchanga Rangers were fighting for the title, which they won. At this particular stage today, they are just fighting to stay in the top flight. While this power dynamos, the victory will move them closer to that coronation ceremony, which could come as early as next weekend in the derby. SBT, between these two sides, uh, early this season, round 13, November 16, uh, power dynamos beating Nchanga Rangers by one goal. You know? Kennedy Musonda scored first. And the only goal, rather, 29th minute it was. We're hoping to see some goals come through. Now, this is Power Dynamos with uh, Jacob Kaunda. On the left, good space can be exploited with uh, Joshua Budum Tali. Looking for support, but uh, it's uh, Bobo Poyeli calling for the ball. Good Tali as well, bringing the ball inside. This could be an early chance here to take a shot. Nice teen off. And it goes straight. Uh, that was a good shot that came through from Owen Tembo. Good recovery now. Let's see what uh, Changa's reply will be. Ball beyond the defense. Good ball for Pedro Miguel. Nicely chested, looking for a shot. And that's a good block uh, from uh, Aaron Katebe. Miguel was very predictable in terms of taking that shot, but good cover coming through from the target. Yes, he is suddenly the target, Aaron Katebe, because you have to pay. You have to really negotiate to go through the target. <laughs> the target that was once in Kashmir and there was marooned there has come back to put in very strong performances for power dynamos and a very critical thwarting interception of the ball on that particular occasion of the angolan power now with owen tembo can cause for the return ball pass from uh, mulambia his older brother mulambia jackson is on the bench he's played out in the last few games uh, for the power dynamo side looking like uh, the left side has been uh, seen a lot of rotation now uh, Mutale trying to negotiate his way, but the strong defenders at the back, really stronger for this uh, Changa side, the likes of Chembe. Good ball now, overlap is good uh, from Chamanga, looking for a cross, two players for Padanamos, in the box, good save by Chabu. And again, uh, sustained pressure coming through from Padanamos, they're really seeking and uh, looking for an early license to get a goal here. Oh, they look like a championship winning team don't they power dynamos but they have to be wary of the spaces that they are leaving behind when they attack like they're doing in numbers now good ball on the left uh, with uh, Kampu Kesa up against Katebe the target yet again the target does a good job well he's really getting a lot of nicknames from uh, <laughs> one being uh, the commander at the back but now he's a target Katebe and gives away a corner you know letting in the target on that particular occasion safe first but a very interesting opening to this game both sides looking like they will not hold back they're going to attack each other here this corner for the afternoon he can actually bring in uh, nice crosses here in uh, even go ikoko the grc man does uh, possess a very good sweet left foot uh, that can whip in crosses that are normally a threat to the opposing team nicely brought in but headed out again by jacob kaunda who also as a compliment does very well to help uh, in terms of defensive duties to Rangers and uh, decision against uh, Chibangu, and so it will be advantage for Power Dynamos at least to breathe some sign of relief here. 
And there's a chance that fell to Pedro Miguel. The two defenders in tow, that's Katebe. Brilliant defending. They were peeling, you know, for a handball. Yeah, good, but he had no knowledge of it whatsoever. And uh, it would have been very harsh if it had been given. Again, brilliant movement, Chamanga. And uh, Joshua Budomutale, keeper Chabu, does very well. He has to be very strong and good, strong hands there by uh, Victor Chabu. Excellent goalkeeper he is for Changa Rangers. Back to action now. Jacob Kaunda. Two goals have scored so far this season. Despite him being uh, the leading striker for them. Bobo Poyeri obviously joining later on. You know, Smakoaza Jr. Straight giving away possession to the opposite team. Picked up nicely to start uh, with Elliot Kapukesa. Even go Ikoko. Good turn by the GRC man. Getting the better of Makwaza all the way. And in the end, the final delivery. I was hoping to see the run come through from uh, Bengi Pedro Miguel. Resulting to nothing. Power Dynamo was employing a very high line on that particular occasion. And uh, Changa Rangers couldn't quite read it. And uh, they let possession go cheaply like that. But lovely, lo lovely opening to this particular game. Both teams employing the same formation, 4-4-2. Four, four, you expect the ball on the ground a lot, and those are incisive passes up front. Austin Bakotina. Across to the target. Left side now. Second ball now made for Jacob Kaunda. Being pursued uh, nicely by Matthews Chavala. But cuts inside, brings in Budo, Joshua Mtali. One-touch football was well, very characteristic of Power Dynamos, uh, the likes of... Uh, Mulambia heavily involved, but there's a chance here for a shot at straight to goalkeeper Victor Chabu. No pressure there from uh, that shot taken by Luca Chamanga. Yet to score this season, he's been uh, a utility player for the last few seasons for this uh, power dynamo side. Always uh, stepping up when the pressure's on, and that has also seen him score some important goals for them. And you said earlier that uh, this uh, left back row sometimes has gone to Frederick Mulambia's elder brother Jackson, who's on the bench today. So probably that has contributed to him not finding, you know, the back of the net yet. But a very good opening. He went into the area, took a shot, but well taken by keeper Chabu. Looking for Miguel. It should be easy clearance uh, from uh, Chamanga. A lot of games that have been played uh, at this time. So we'll keep you posted with what's happening from the various venues uh, for this uh, round, 20, round 30 of the MTN Fast Super League. Of course, uh, concluding fixtures tomorrow. We'll see us move from um, uh, Chingola to Kitwe at the Kana Stadium where Chambishi will play against Napsa Stars as first game. And of course, uh, match time kickoff that will be. Second game, we'll see Kana up against Green Eagles. Mulambia, hoping to glide forward. Takes it to the right. Overlap has been made by John Soko. who seems uh, lately to be loving to overlap from that uh, right back position from Andy Bobo Poyeli. Kaunda. Gives it for Chamanga. Takes a bit of one uh, out of the way in uh, hoping to get a shot, but uh, that not coming to fusion. Uh, Aaron Katebe. So in the last 23 years, these two sides have played each other 37 times. And, uh, for Nchanga, they've only won nine of those seven, 37 matches, 14 draws, and they've lost 14 times as well. Going in uh, 30 goals, allowing 37, negative 7 in terms of the goal difference out of a possible 111 points. They've only managed to get 41. However, their home record in Changa Rangers since 2000, the last 23 years, this is their 19th meeting between these two sides. And in the last 18 matches, Changa's only won four here against Power Dynamos with seven draws and seven losses in the process. Good ball now for Ibenge Ikoko on the right. This looks promising now for Changa. Direct football get two goals. We have to negotiate with John Soko, angle tight, and uh, go kick it away. Yeah, good cover play there by Soko, ensuring that uh, the ball doesn't come into the area. Reminds me of the late Gabon disaster. You know, Zambia right back, the uncle, you know, John Soko. Usually he would give you no space like that. So probably learning in the football tradition, uh, John Soko. Boba Boyeli. Again, Chembe, Chavala rather does a good job. Safety first, just taking the ball out is the Changa Rangers captain, Matthews Chavala. Well, we're told that uh, Edwin Imboyla Stadium, Gold Boys Fight and Conquer Green Buffaloes are down against this Green Arid. We'll confirm with you shortly. Throw taken uh, by Chamanga. Brings in Joshua Budo Mutale. He's looking very lively uh, this afternoon uh, from the last few games where you Sometimes a pair of shadow of himself was uh, Joshua Budum Tale, controlled by Faustin Bakotina, Makwa Zalinos, Junior. 
course, Makwaza Senior is uh, the assistant coach, the father. A bit of hesitation there between uh, Owen Tembo and uh, Paco Tila almost uh, resulted to the benefit of uh, Ibenge Ikoko. Good overlap from Tembo. Finds John Soko. Second ball caught by Tembo. Looking for a cross as well. Two players in the box. Boba Boyel is one of them, and so is uh, Jacob Kaunda. Tinchanga could do a very good job defensively to take uh, Nick away that ball. Now they can exploit the spaces. Ibenge Ikoko. That's certainly a foul by John Soko on uh, Ibenge Ikoko. Clear foul there by uh, John Soko. We've been talking about the target. John Soko, Gabon disaster hero, who's called the barbed wire. Those uh, obviously a uh, foul, clear foul on uh, Ibenge by uh, Soko. Oh, Ibenge Koko, for me, he looks, he's got, he strikes some resemblance like uh, the former Zambian international, also played for the DRC in uh, the playing days in Zambia called uh, Matthews Papaka Mashi, later on Kankumule Kalai. Kankumule Kalai. Yes, a uh, chance for Changa Rangers here. That's a good block, very decisive. Soko with an extension. Cross comes through. Good block by Faustin Paco Tila. John Soko again. Yeah. As usual, power the animals will not hoof and uh, the ball forward. The others want to pass the ball. Soko now. Advantage done. Very good refereeing there by referee. And straight to goalkeeper Ronis Menga. But it's John Soko is down. Probably we need a bit of a medical attention. 10 minutes played. Uh, the 27 year old down. So Soko just in front of the Rangers defender. The touch came when he was already on the ground, so good call by the referee. He was already going down all by himself. He wasn't touched by the Rangers player. So let's confirm it. Enoch Sakala Jr. with the goal in the fourth minute. Trouble for Imbo, who trail against Zegamambo. The third goal in two matches for Enoch Sakala Jr. Good return for the Zambia under 23 international striker. That happening right in front of the Changa Rangers bench. Foul uh, on uh, Andrew Piri by Linus Makwaza Jr. Throw taken by Andrew Piri. Again, wasted, uh, could not keep possession in play as uh, Ibenge Ikoko could not make any progression from that uh, throw in that came through from uh, Andrew Piri. Of course, Ibenge Ikoko making his debut in the Changa Rangers shirt against uh, Sanako Football Club at the Sunset Stadium, where the sun is really setting there because they're under a lot of trouble there, even as they play against Kansanshi Dynamos for the very first time. They're staring and looking at the prospect of playing National First Division football unless they get something from the remaining fixtures. To be too big, they are strong, they have to be reliable to stay in the division. They have hired the celebrated and experienced with Sonia Renda to try and stay above relegation. But before he came, when they dispensed of the services of uh, Emmanuel Amunike, they were above the relegation zone. Now they are in the relegation zone. I was actually speaking to Emmanuel Amunike yesterday. He's back in Spain. Good ball now for John Soko. Owen Tembo, across field, brings in Joshua Budum Tali. Nice passing game from Power Dynamos. Mulambia on the right. Soko is looking for some uh, progression, but not much. They're forced to play back. Retained by Mutale. That again, uh, it was too close to the Nchanga Rangers player and uh, players and really very difficult to keep it in play. Throw in still for Nchanga Rangers. Of course, the advantage for this uh, throw in now, they can uh, hope to build from that position. So they've done very well to give a little space away in that midfield where the likes of uh, Justin Daka as well as uh, Francis Kasak and Wesley Sichande are very combative, very assertive. And on that particular occasion, they couldn't just let Power Dynamics play their usual game. The last time these two sides clashed here at the Changa Stadium in 2018, in that very year, in Changa and Rangers were actually demoted. It was uh, around 30 August 25, and it ended scoreless. So maybe they'll not be hoping that uh, it'll be deja vu this time around. It's a good block by all counts from Imano Chembe, not allowing that pass to come to fruition from. Uh, Mulambia. Good defensive work indeed, Chembe. Soko. Across field to the target. Good ball now. Again, nicely stopped, and they can build with Andrew Piri. Nice overlap. Piri has got the chance, uh, even as uh, Chamanga is retreating, looking for a cross. They've got numbers in support. And a good cross coming through from, by all accounts from Piri. An expected uh, better job was expected from Piri, but Chamanga recovers very well. And uh, that's clever from the captain, goal kick. Intelligent play by Chamanga. And uh, when they don't have possession, this Changa Ranger side, they are employing a very low block 
which Power Dynamos is failing to penetrate a lot of passes in build up, but uh, entering that final third has been a problem. Power Dynamos look comfortable early on here. The likes of Makwaza are on the ball there, and Mulambia and Owen Tembo doing a lot of business in midfield. Oh, a dollar you grant. Malembe leading one year against uh, Lumona Radiance, the Union boys, Moyela Libamba. Their leading goal scorer, the penalty in the seventh minute. I think it's beginning to get tough on top, and so is uh, at the bottom. But here, an offside flag is up uh, from uh, first assistant uh, Meki Zulu. Yes, the fans not uh, agreeing, awakened by that decision, but uh, Pedro Miguel will appreciate that attempt in terms of the pass that was spread to him. Oh, Kizo Kilambe, first assistant coach, just uh, all over the technical area. Fine striker he was uh, in, in his playing days, and in fact, to date, still remains the most expensive striker to have made a move across teams in the Zambian Super Division when he left uh, Power Dynamos to move to Zanako Football Club then. So, quarter of an hour played here, Moses. Scholars between Nichang and Power Dynamos. Absolutely, game of a few chances. Started very brightly. We've seen Power Dynamos have a goal in terms of shots on target with uh, that Chamanga effort earlier on. But uh, mostly concentration of play has been in the middle of the pack and uh, those offsides, bits of stops and starts now that we are seeing. And uh, good uh, sportsmanship there by uh, Pedro Miguel just shaking the hand of Chamanga who had earlier fouled. So it's gone into a bit of a low insofar as the goal scoring opportunities are concerned. Started off like a house on fire. But uh, now it's like they are cancelling each other out, these two teams. Uh, with Forest Rangers winning, Power Dynamos better be wary. Well, they're leading, yet to win, yeah? <laughs> <laughs> All right, it's pregnant with expectations, but nothing to show for in terms of the goals. At least the other venues are beginning to have uh, results, beginning uh, to trickle in. We do know that at uh, the present stadium first booking for the match, and it's Jacob Kaunda into the ref's book. He's not happy about that. Uh, so, first booking for the 28 year old uh, Jacob Kaunda, becoming the first player to be booked this afternoon. So, it's Katevet who took the ball, and uh, Kaunda just in front of the Rangers defender. Uh, for retaliation, I would want to think. So, there we are. Some words must have been spoken here. That is. Uh, for saying something to the referee. Certainly dissent there that dissent. has uh, resulted in that uh, yellow card. But if the referee had hit Power Dynamo's coach as well, probably would have gotten a yellow card as well. Some very unsolvable words coming out of the mouth of Mwenya Chukupo towards the match official as well. I think it was meant for Jacob Kaun. Absolutely. I think they do they do know that sometimes it can be a hot hit, so it was probably passing on the instruction to one of the players. Would Power you want me to repeat the words? I know, but I think he was passing on the instruction to one of the Power Dynamo's player to age Jacob to take it easy because there was that was unnecessary. My interpretation, opinion. absolutely correct, but uh, probably should be expressed in some better words, Typical. respectful words. All right, now attack for Power Dynamo's. Prison Leopards in the meantime lead by one goal to the Nigerian David Obashi has uh, scored for them, leading goal scorer, 14th minute. They leading at uh, the President Stadium in Kawe. Seems to have discovered his goal scoring boots after leaving in Kana Obashi. True that. Makwaza across now to Aaron Katebe. Chamanga. Oh, Chamanga in the beginning almost uh, invited himself into trouble there with uh, the delay to release the ball. Aaron Katebe was hoping for the quick return pass uh, to quickly put the ball forward. Even go Ikoko. Nicked away by Joshua Mutale. The referee says uh, bigo challenge to Kaunda Jacob. Second ball won by Joshua Mutale. Again, a poor pass uh, from the youngster. And uh, Kaunda has to battle his way there. In comes the support of uh, Andy Bobwa Boyeli. Chang again. Still stuck in their own half, uh, not making so much progression. Maybe Elliot Kapukesa is conjuring up something there. Can play Matimba timber by come to Kesa Elliot. Fleet footed. Little frustration creeping in after 
Ebengo fouled Linus Makwaza Jr. This uh, Rangers side, I think they have to keep calm. Still even Stevens. The game is there to be won. No need to get frustrated. Stick to a game plan. Nice build up now by Nchanga Rangers. Well, just getting a bit of queries uh, in terms of uh, what's uh, been displayed on the Super Sport matches. Of course, uh, earlier on, we should have had uh, the du double header, but now it's actually this one. So apologies about that. Good turn in the box now. This could be some chance cleared out uh, by Matthews Chabala. Decisive clear out uh, by the captain from the back. Again, leading very well. Offside flag up against uh, Power Dynamo's uh, Mulambia. Well, somewhat increasingly beginning frustrated. First uh, offside call made uh, by second assistant Morgan Shaba against uh, Mulambia. Well, the call came in a little bit late, but uh, good defensive uh, work, decent display by this uh, Emmanuel uh, Chembe, the captain from Changa Rangers. We are from the back uh, by Victor Chabu. Nice touch on coming through, but again, strong at the back, forced him back or dealer. No hesitation in terms of delay to, uh, to clear the ball. Control is good from Andy Bob Boyeli. Across field, Joshua Budum Tale, Miss Cute, could not even make any meaningful contribution. 20 minutes played here, scoreless. And now, attacker by Changa Rangers with Elliot Kampukesa. Nice ball for Pedro Miguel. Cleared again by Power Dynamos, who are beginning to show some signs of frustration and just. Uh, Beginning to lose possession very carelessly in areas that are very crucial, so to speak. Piri. Miguel. Played back to Captain Matthews Chabala. Across you to Chibangu. So as it stands, if says this were powered animals who go to 56 points, but the most big movement to be made by Zisco in Ared will be tied with the uh, first Rangers on 46, and Napsa will drop from second to fourth position. Permutations, if, if we are talking here. Now, looking for that cross. Elliot, a shot, a rather connection with the header, and uh, the technique not very good for Pedro Miguel. But it was a good cross that came through from Elliot Campuquesa to bring in the Angolan who was unmarked, sighted, and connected that cross. Brilliant build up play by uh, Changa Rangers. Lovely cross in the area by uh, Francis Kasaka. And then from this other end, Campuquesa. It's a clear header, free header, could have done a lot more better, at least work the keeper, but he puts it over the bar, Pedro Miguel. Miguel coming with a high reputation uh, when he was snapped up by Zesco United from Chilean to uh, the current block leaders of uh, the Zambian Super Division, or rather National First Division, I beg your pardon. Uh, really did not see a lot of action uh, loaned out uh, to this uh, Nchanga Rangers side uh, from Cisco United. Even Ikoko. That's a good skill outside this boot. Uh, but again, uh, after all the good work, I was hoping to see the run come through from uh, Elliot Kampukesa from uh, Even Ikoko, the former St. Eloa Lupopo player. Now, uh, pressure beginning to mount. That's a description of a person under pressure in Mwenyachi Pepe's face, really. They obviously would have been looking for an early goal. They started very well just to calm the names. But uh, Changa Rangers have since come more into this game and they've curved out the clearest of chances in the last five minutes or so. Kapu Kesa goes to the pylon, gets a bit of Chamanga. Cross comes through. I can clear that uh, by John Soko, who had come in to help in terms of uh, the defensive work. I think in Changa Rangers are making excellent visitations at this uh, Power Dynamo's defense. For how long they'll hold, we wait and see. Nice cross comes through at the back post. Campu Kesa and the header taken out for a corner. Well, he had to stay switched on Chamanga because it's a dangerous cross in the area. But dealt with it very well. Changa Rangers now upping the ante. And uh, this crowd here is sensing that they could get something going into this game as it approaches the 20, 24, 20 feet. I mean, mark. Conversations there between uh, Pedro Miguel. Even as Campu Kesa is uh, urging everyone to up their game. And yet again, the responsibility for such situations is for even Ikoko. Change in terms of the way to take it. Took a short one, but it looks like he was not anticipating that other ball to come through. And good cover from John Soko means that uh, the ball goes out uh, for a goal kick. This looked like it was not well rehearsed between uh, 
even uh, Ikoko when they took that uh, short corner. A change in the way they were doing it earlier on in terms of uh, the long ball into the box. Not working out this time around. His angles really twice he's done that even get Ikoko. Um, obviously he has to get those crosses, deliveries into the area, spot on. You're delivering something, you don't take it to the wrong address. And on two occasions, he's been asked to deliver and he's taken it to the wrong address. Oh, Timu Kopala, new, Wanyanganga one. Oh, they are still playing. Yeah, Samo Onyango with a goal in the 18th minute. Well done for turning up Dutkan. This can be played at the trade fair grounds in Indola. Of course, uh, Levi Monawasa Stadium now not in use in terms of football because of uh, the Confederation of African Athletics Championship that Zambia is hosting starting uh, the 29th. Of course, opening ceremony on the 18th. But now, Linus Makwaza and uh, even Ge Ikoko does not seem to appreciate the challenge that came through from uh, Linus Makwaza Jr. throwing in that uh, hard tackle. So it could be a case of revenge. Oh, he appeared to have won the ball clearly. Maybe he just went in too hard, Linus Makwaza Jr. But there was an incident earlier where, you know, Ikoko had gone in hard on, on Makwaza. So probably just trying to warn each other, as it were. Linus Makwaza Jr. beginning to increase in terms of his uh, game time, having made his debut on the 30th of May 2018. So this year it will be five years since uh, he joined uh, the Power Dynamo senior forward from the Young Power Summit. Andy Bobwa Boyeli up against Memphis Chaban. Cross comes through. It's a good header and a good save by Victor Chabu. Oh, that's a top draw save. Good connection. But uh, Victor Chabu, not to be beaten, does very well to deny Kaunda second of the season in the Zambian Super Division. But what good save there by Victor Chabu, keeping Rangers in this game at least for now. Good direct header, fantastic save. One of the saves of the season for me. I rate this goalkeeper highly. I hope national team selectors are watching this one. Point blank save, incredible save by keeper Victor Chab, one handed. That should have been in the back of the net. It's a great save rather than a bad mistake. Oh, Chabu, originally from Chambishi Football Club, uh, really showing why he's. Uh, Preferred choice to start uh, between the sticks. Corner for power with uh, Joshua Mtale and uh, overcooked goes completely out uh, for the goal kick. But what a good uh, save by Victor Chawi. Let's recap on it, shall we? Joshua Mtale with what looked like a routine ball, but a good work by Power Dynamo's uh, Andy Boba Boyeli. Just fending off Chawu and the head across. P point blank save. Good cross in the area, this Bobwa Boyeli, and uh, I think that uh, Kaunda did everything in the book to get that ball onto target. Keeper does very well, one-handed, incredible save, world-class save. Another attack now by the Changa Rangers with Imano Chembe, whipped in by Ekoko. On the back post, uh, there are too much uh, for Pedro Miguel. So we can update you from the Inconoma Stadium. Red Arrows are leading one new against FC Musa. Paul Katema with the goal. So things beginning to open up. Katema with the goal in the 20th minute. Red, red hot. Leading there against uh, the elegant dynamites. Yeah, very interesting. They could be facing the second loss in a row. Musa, having done very well, gone on to reach the finals of the Absa Cup. But uh, wheels coming off insofar as the Super Division ascent to at least one of the two top spots is concerned. Rangers uh, really have to be wary about uh, the way they are going forward because uh, with that uh, clear intention of uh, Power Denham was hoping to cut them on the break counter almost uh, resulting in what would have been the first goal. Good header from uh, Justin Daka. Pedro Miguel will slow down things a little bit so that more numbers can come in support. Too close to Makwanza but picked up by Evian Koko, Elliot Kampukesa. Oh, just battling his way there. Mutale and uh, taken out for a throw in for Chandra Rangers. The ball came in, coming off uh, the body of uh, Joshua Mutale. Throw taken by PB. This is Campo Kesa and no movements made there. All of them uh, becoming looking like statues there, not moving. <laughs> Francis Kasaka, one of those. Uh, but uh, Miguel really 
as a striker. You anticipate those sort of balls. He needed to be moving into that area where he can hurt power dynamos. As a striker, you need to be in there, in the in the in inside, you know, the final third in the box, where sometimes you can be caught a fox in the box. On that particular occasion, not so much movement, but there's a foul there again on this very intelligent Frederick Mulambia, you know, committed by uh, Andrew or is it Emmanuel Chembe? Excellent save, Chabu. Matimba, if I was a national team selector, I will probably be getting this guy. Um, the competition is really very high. I've seen also the, the goalkeeper in the national first division, I think from Trident, who is really also very good. Uh, and uh, doing yeah, but any, we are commentators. National team selectors should really cast their names wider, very wide. Just like they do it when they're catching those small sardines, uh, Carpenter on Lake Muero and everywhere. That's what they should do. It's got the height, it's got the build, it's got everything. Now, Pacotila nicely brought inside, and uh, there was a foul there on, uh, by Jacob Kounda, who's uh, trading on very dangerous grounds. Uh, two players down there for Changa Rangers. Uh, there's uh, Andrew Piri and uh, Memphis Chavala captain. Oh, if it stands this way, if it stays this way, Power Dynamos on 56 arrows will move to second position. The defending champions on 47. It's really getting hot on top there. The same can be said down here in terms of the log standing. We said down because we are at Changa Stadium. Changa will move to 36 points. Zanako will move to 35. And really, the battle is on. Absolutely. It's very, very hot down there. But uh, red arrows, wow. At some point, they were down and out. Still have a fighting chance. Jacob Kaunda now for Power Dynamos going to the byline. And after all that great effort and praise from commentary, it results in that uh, not impressive cross uh, from the left uh, from uh, Jacob Kaunda. This man must be very worried. Muinyachi uh, Pepo. Surprised with the delivery that came off the left of uh, Kaunda bit of composure was required on that particular occasion from the former Chambishi player and the short man where the coach is incensed. 14 minutes to the halftime break here. Scoreless between uh, Changa Rangers and Power Dynamos. And yet again, it's true testimony to what we saw in the first leg when uh, a goal from Kennedy was on this. What separated the two sides? So they're now on the books of uh, Younger in the Tanzania League. Throw in uh, for Changa Rangers. Chembe with this one, one of those uh, young products uh, from the young Changa setup. His full name is Bini Imanuo Gualia Chembe, the 21 year old, only known as Marcel among his teammates. 61% ball possession, power leading, but the most important statistics is not on or between these two sides. Talking about young talent, they are never scared. Fashion Sakala was here, Patson Daka was here, the likes of Moses Sichone, you know, Andrew Sinkala started off as youngsters. They still talk about really Piri here because they have the tradition in grooming players' ranges. Joshua Mutali. Oh, this looks good, uh, good uh, from Budo. Cross and uh, blocked for a corner by Captain uh, Matthews Chabala. Rock solid. Matthews Chabala, the captain, leading by example. Another of those young players, Zambia under 23 international. Chabala. Very disappointing for the Zambia and the trees that they could not go past uh, the young pharaohs of Egypt to qualify to Morocco Cup of Nations. Four corners presented now. And again, uh, concentration being caught uh, by Victor Chabu. Joshua Mutale with the corner for the Power Dynamo side. As uh, halftime is slowly coming on the horizon, corner comes through. And again, uh, what a good job not seeing so many of uh, teams uh, benefiting from set pieces even as we are closing in slowly on the end of the Zambian Super Division. Oh, in Tembo does a good job. Nice touch uh, from uh, Andrew the, Piri. Andrew Piri, but back to the goalkeepers. Whether Chubb was expecting that one, I, I don't really think so. So this man should be thinking, where would that goal come through? Agri Chiangi on his right, his second assistant coach, Ronald Mukosha, who in as many games he played for the national team only scored one goal also played for power dynamos well as a defender your job is not to score but to keep them out isn't it absolutely cleared out by linos makwaza jr and again uh, controlled by the anti-bobo boyeli that's good turning now 
And again, uh, that should be a yellow card uh, without a doubt uh, that will be given uh, to Arnold Shabangu. It's a second booking for the afternoon. The GRC man, the 24 year old, into the ref's book. This is the second booking for in the steps of uh, Jacob Kaunda for Power Dynamos. So, in trying to stop uh, Boba Boyeli pulling the Congolese down to the floor, and uh, that yellow card for Chibangu, another Congolese Amadi. Amandi is uh, well deserved on that occasion. Power Dynamo's beginning now to tighten the screw on this Sinchanga Ranger side, which has uh, so far held well, built around that Zambia Under 23 international captain, Matthews Chabala. They've done very well so far, apart from that one shot header, though, that uh, Chabu well served. Uh, Chabu to call for a solid six defense is uh, what he has scored for. Lots of Pedro Miguel on the ball. Justin Daka, even get Ikoko. Oh, Soko. And then low and uh, completely wasted. Uh, although there's a corner that will come through because the ball came off uh, the wall that had been set up. Very hard, but. Uh the defensive wall doing its work over there at the expense of giving away a corner. It was a very hard shot from John Soko. Whether it was on target, I'm not very sure, but uh, the wall doing its job on that particular occasion. So then, 10 minutes to half time here. Corner with uh, Luca Chamanga. As Power Dynamos are hoping to finish as champions or probably play continental football. Again, wasted uh, chance. Speaking of which, continental football in Tanzania. Simba Sports Club is leading 1 0 against Widat Casablanca. That should be an interesting game. Chamanga trotting back uh, to defensive duties, but Chabu really has only been tested once and uh, he hasn't disappointed for the Changa Rangers side in uh, blocking that one that went out for the goal kick. Expected a bit of composure in terms of the delivery from the corner to waste that sort of chance in a fashion like that to I coach Monyach Pepo by Chamanga. So, Cabo Warriors have extended the lead. Hantobolo taps on Kaseba with the second one uh, for Warriors this afternoon. It's a really good big upward movement uh, for the Cabo Warriors side since the arrival of uh, No Mandida and uh, Kaninja Numba Mwamba. That's a good dummy from Andy Popua Poyeli. And an equally good tackle. I think the legal one it was. That was good work by Shibangu up against his uh, countryman in Andy Popua Poyeli. Oh, Boyel is still down there, so play will be stopped. But I think he got the ball, really, Shiwangu. And he's on a yellow. And so if it was a judge to have been a foul and he was the last man in the line of defense, he was pro probably going to be sent off. And that's why the Power Dynamo's bench is all standing. They can't believe they were expecting a red card or even a second yellow. Well, I think there's need for some discipline levels here because... I did not expect Linus Makwaza to charge at the referee. That responsibility of talking should come from the captain in uh, Chamanga. He's the one who is licensed to talk to the match official. But again, to see the whole entire bench from Power Dynamos upstanding, well, of course, they'll leave it. In the meantime, Dr. Wombaka Dochi and uh, his medical st and our medical staff to treat the injured Boyeli. A brilliant 10 initially from Boba Boyeli. He won the ball clearly, clearly there. Chibangu, it's a good call from the referee. I don't press referees normally, Chansachola, well done there. But uh, treatment being applied uh, to Boba Boyeli. But there's a possibility that he could have been touched. Well, some serious instructions from Agri Chiangi there. It was a routine route one football. First good turn by Boyeli. Who well, took the man as well. Got the ball but took the man out as well. But what comes first? He won the ball. And that's what convinced the referee Chola. Oh, Boyeli walking uh, to the sidelines to receive more treatment from uh, Dr. Womba Kadochi and the uh, physiotherapist uh, goes. It will be a big blow should uh, Andy Popua Boyeli not 
be able to continue with play. Absolutely, the leading scorer in the MTN Super Division, and Bobo Boyeli. And uh, he's come in to replace the goals that have gone to Tanzania in the form of Kennedy Msonda for Power Dynamos. And he's the reason why they are nearly there in so far as winning the league title for the first time since 2011. Six minutes to the halftime break here. Now, oh. looks like some serious uh, altercation there, but the uh, referee has to rush there quickly to keep calm uh, with uh, what is seemingly becoming uh, a match with a lot of confrontations. So a yellow card suddenly will come through to the Changa Rangers uh, right back. He knows and quickly walks away from the crime scene in an uh, Andrew Pee. So second yellow card from Changa. So Budo had beaten Piri for pace and clipped and clearly yellow card. The referee has handled this game very well so far. But then retaliation and trying to talk back, stuff like that from Power Dynamos must be avoided. This is why those words initially, Matimba, were very critical. What the coach said towards, you know, uh, Jacob Kaunda and the referee, because then he berated the referee, and you can see how his players are reacting to every decision that's been made by the referee. Popo Poyeli, first touch is coming up back after treatment. Budo is so many things running in his head. Miguel. Even get Ikoko. All right, it's Elliot uh, Kampukesa up against uh, Chamanga. I reckon it's going to be a long night for Chamanga after these runs that he's making. <laughs> Good ball now for Mutali. Again, uh, fouled by Even get Ikoko. And uh, this one really. The crowd, uh, which is obviously very opinionated uh, and dominant in terms of the home fans, will not agree with that, but I think uh, that's a. Uh, some good refereeing there that has been dished out by Chan Sachola. Partisan crowd displeased with the call, but it was right. Don't just like that. Jacob Kaunda. Nicely controls. Plays back to Aaron Katebe, the target. Second ball now looking for Bobo Poyeli, but that's a good head as well. As long as the Power oh, side keep uh, looking out uh, for the GRC man uh, to get them the goals. Yes, it's good. But again, at the same time, I was impressed with uh, what Munyachi Pepe said that uh, they have a plan to Boba Boyeli be put in the pocket of the Changa Rangers defenders on how they can get a goal or goals. Owen Tembo. Boba Boyeli, nicely chested. He's got some good go uh, ball control. Is this Boba Boyeli? Does very well to turn as well. His weaker right takes the ball to John Soko. Tembo. Always having a touch on the ball, first time before bringing it across. And a desperate uh, clears uh, from Hephus Chavala, safety first to take the ball out uh, from the 21 year old for a throw in uh, for the visitors. It's been very disciplined toward Dynamos, the way they have moved forward in attack. Usually you see Owen Tembo play as a box to box midfielder, but today he's sitting almost as a defensive holding midfielder with Linus Makwaza. And that is what is causing problems for them because once the spaces are blocked for Boyeli, there's no one else coming to join an attack. Go away there by Chamanga now. Space can be exploited by Changa Rangers. And again, the tour gets intervention, makes the difference. <laughs> Probably should have a new nickname for him, Pasha Withdraw. Oh, yeah. Hey, what's happening? <laughs> <laughs> Aaron Pasha Withdraw, 20% Katebe. <laughs> Good ball now. Kaunda. Soko can whip in across here, but uh, otherwise. And now this is good uh, ball distribution, but that's to spread it among as the Changa Rangers uh, players not working out. Then doing from Changa Rangers also is that they're defending too deep, and so when they've got a chance to break, that is not coming to work out because they're taking time to join in in terms of the support. Andrew Piu, Pedro Miguel, the flag is down suddenly, it's onside. Again, he did very well. He waited and uh, he waited for the partial withdrawal. I, I, I love players who go for the box. Pedro Miguel should aim to get into the box, was in the box in a slight contact. Anything, everything is possible there. But to want to win the sympathy of the match officials, no ways. And he's done that on a couple of occasions. It's not working this particular game. He's not very quick, that's where the issue is. And then, probably the supporting striker as well, the left footed. 
uh, Ebengo is not quick either. So they have that sort of problem, Janga Rangers in their front too. Akwaza. Soko desperately playing it back. And just an important aspect, we were talking about the weather conditions here at uh, the Changa Stadium. It's uh, power dynamos that are playing with the wind in their favor. You see how fast the ball moves to the left side of the screen. So I reckon second half, if they're not very careful, they may struggle because now they'll play against the wind. Good turn by Elliot Kampukesa. An equally good touch uh, that is coming through, but delay of the ball, Andrew Pease, Unsighted and marked. Shot from uh, range, but wasted. I think that was rather being over ambitious from uh, Ivengo Ekoko because there was an overlap that had been made on the right uh, by Andrew P. As we were playing seconds before the halftime break, waiting for the additional time to come through from uh, our fourth official. On my count, so Ivengo Ekoko, that's the third chance is wasted in that sort of fashion. He needs some talking to getting into good positions but the final ball has been very poor we even see two minutes of added time to be played well probably the the way it stands favors more power dynamos than in Changa rangers who have to win to stay in the division every game that they'll play until the end of the season is like a cup final for them boy well, that's serenity so again camp kesa there Fouling Owen Tembo apologizes immediately. Lovely player, this Owen Tembo, formerly of uh, Concola Blitz. We're playing two minutes of additional time. One almost coming to an end here. Aaron Katevi for Power Dynamos. Looking for their seventh title at Power Dynamos. Wide to John Soko. Oh, two players uh, almost uh, doing a a collision there in terms of uh, heads. Nice header from Andrew P. Controlled uh, by Owen Tembo. Oh, wanted to finish at least leading here, but whether they'll be allowed is another thing. Katebe looking for Kaunda. It's a good switch and uh, a desperate uh, clear out and uh, necessary pressure that uh, they are bringing to themselves, uh, Changa Rangers. But uh, also about uh, leaving nothing to chance in terms of taking that ball out from uh, Emmanuel Chembe. And uh, just explaining there, Emmanuel Chembe, that he had, you know, his back to the ball. And when there was a shout of man on, safe first was the best option on that particular occasion. You fumble in there, you are dead. Well, probably last action of uh, the first half here from this corner by Chamanga. And so halftime whistle comes through here on cue from uh, referee Chan Sachola to bring the proceedings uh, to the end. No goals uh, here scored in this match that has promised so much in terms of uh, the intensity and how it opened up the likes of uh, Pedro Miguel. Uh, one, two times getting close, but yet again, too far. But at the back, it's Matthews Chabala who's been very commanding. The youngster really keeping uh, it tight at the back and thus seeing his team not, co not conceding. But all talk will be about Andy Boba Boyle and how he has been uh, kept at bay by this uh, Nchanga Rangers defense. Of course, the overall talk being the save that has been made by Victor Chabu being the only difference that has come through in terms of how close we could have registered a goal in this first stanza. So all things said and done here at the Nchanga Stadium at halftime, former Gabitas, we can record Bravo, Bravo Nchanga Rangers new have a yellow power dynamo's new halftime in Chingola.
halfway into the calendar week 30 of the MTN Super League between Inchanga Rangers and Power Dynamos at Inchanga Stadium. It's new, new. And uh, in reverse, you can talk about uh, the victorious day it was uh, for the six time champions in Power Nainte. And uh, for Brave Rangers, they would love to uh, do a revenge. The last time uh, that Power won the league in 2011, they completed a double. But at the moment, it's about the numbers that are showing on the screen. Ball position, uh, Power Dynamo's dominating is uh, 52, uh, 57 to, 53, uh, to 43. And look at the action areas. You agree with me that it's been more on the part of uh, the home team. Total attacks, Babo, talk to me, it's four apiece. Well, for me, it's a shot on target. That is worrying. Nothing from Nchanga Rangers. Okay, that shows that Nchanga Rangers are a little bit defensive. They are allowing Power Dynamos to have that ball possession uh, as long as they don't scare their uh, goal. Mm. For Nchanga Rangers, it's okay. Mm. But I think they have come in with a game plan. Okay? Nchanga Rangers, immediately Power gets the ball, they retreat, they go back into the de uh, defensive zone. Halfway inside their own half, allowing Power Dynamos to have those passes as long as Power Dynamos do not get them. For them, it's okay. But for me, what, in Chang what the Power Dynamos needs to do is a supplies move. We've got to supplies uh, in Chaga Rangers. Otherwise, if you continue having mm. ball, ball possession, it's going to end nil nil. But that's right. Second half, mm. maybe we'll have uh, uh, goals. Mm. You're on course. You said it's going to be a draw, and it's nil nil at the moment. And that, that's down to the goalkeeper, Chabu. 100 great save and also I think that you know Chabala has defended very very well on the other side poor coordination and delivery on the part of uh, Pedro Miguel as well as Evenge Ikoko has mm. accounted for the zero shot on target that uh, you know modern I mean Kenneth Malitoli is talking about mm. that's right yeah and Wamuzo uh, Yamba Pamuamba Ebola high start it, it started like a house on fire I heard you uh, you know say that in commentary with Martin Bankonj excellent end-to-end -end stuff because both sides know what they are, they want out of this game a draw would feel like a loss for either side so they started off very very brightly and lively but good defending by Katebe on that particular occasion thwarting again the Njanga Rangers forward line which to me, is not very well coordinated and looks sluggish. Mm. And, and, and others will tell you that there was supposed to be a penalty well, at for, that moment. For me, it's a penalty. Okay, Alan Kateri had to put his hand down. He's lucky. And if you see where the leaper is coming from, there. Mm. Okay, kudos uh, that uh, nothing happened. But, but that could have been a penalty if we have. A VAR. Mm. That should have been a but penalty. Somebody to argue Chano. that uh, he, he knew nothing about it. Uh, there was no way he was going to move, uh, you know, his hands, and they were behind. Okay, like that's, his the, back. that's the only way you can okay. go down. Absolutely. But if mm. you block the movement of the ball, where was the ball supposed to go end up? Granted. Okay. But let's talk about the start. Uh, it started absolutely fantastic, and uh, later on, <laughs> it looks like uh, well, you know, the, the NH the, levels went down. The intention from both teams. To me, I thought that's what we are going to see. But Alas, immediately after that, everyone went into the best gear. KG approach, no one wants to make a move. Mm. Alas is still no new new. Mm. Talk to me, Mamuzo, about uh, you know, Miguel's headers. He had two uh, within a short period of time. Nothing on target for him. Very poor in terms of direction as well. Um, the crosses from Kampukesa and Kasaka have been very good. But maybe there you would argue that there was a defender that distracted him in terms of his jump. Mm. But this one should have been on target. It was a free header. It should have been a goal. Those are chances you have to utilize, Babo. Well, those are chances. But it's the movement of the, the striker. You've got to give yourself enough room so that once you want to hit that ball, you go in with force. But if you see Miguel, he's standing and he wants to jump from a standing position. It's difficult for you. But kudos for Power Dynamo's defenders. They were alert. Every time the striker wants to go and hit the ball, there is a Power Dynamo's defender making it difficult for Chaga Rangers the striker to have any clear cut on goal. On the, the second, Rangers, one, yeah, on the yeah, second yeah. one though, Babo, there was more or less a second striker who was acting as decoy. Meaning, like you said, there was enough room for himself to steady himself and have a clear direction and sight of goal, which he didn't do. Mm. Yeah. Mm. And, and, and when you talk about, uh, you know, their goalkeeper uh, put up a world class save. Yeah, you talk about that, Mamuzo. Oh, brilliant. Because firstly, the movement, well, this is not the one, is it? It's it the is. one. Uh, Bob Waboyeli, this is the good thing about this guy. He's not just about goals. 
he can bring deliveries into the area that are delicious. On this particular occasion, the striker does everything right. It's a superb one-handed save from the goalkeeper. But look at uh, Boeli. To me, that's the mark of a uh, top striker. The ball goes to him. He's alone in the Changa Rangers' defence. He makes sure that the defender doesn't come nearby. And he's able to turn. And he waits to his striking partner. That's a chance, in my opinion. And the defender from Changa Rangers was in sixes and sevens. Probably that's a composure where we need Flo Mukaunda there. He had the goalkeeper in front of him. Maybe a composure, put the ball on the chest. And Wamuzo got... says uh, he did everything right. Ah, he did everything right. Babo obviously is a striker, him, scored loads of goals, he knows yeah. better. But uh, he puts the ball away from the keeper. Mm. It's the agility, mm. the save for me. I think I would not fought the striker. Mm. I would rather credit the goalkeeper for a fantastic save. That's right. That's right. And uh, let's quickly, uh, you know, take a listen to what you are saying, home. We've been asking you to send your WhatsApp videos, and you're doing that. We appreciate. Uh, let's take a listen. Good afternoon. This is Mr. Chainda giving my prediction on the game between Power Dynamos and the Changa Rangers. Uh, Power Dynamos is carrying the day. Um, Andy Boyeli will score two goals in this match, and the match will end in 3-1 uh, in favor of who? Power Dynamos. We know that Power has got all the scoring machines in uh, this match. Therefore, it stands a better chance than Changa Rangers to carry the day. Thank you very much. What a mouse watering I encounter uh, this afternoon. Uh, so interesting and uh, also uh, so consequential uh, on the pitch, uh, especially uh, to Changa Rangers who are coming to this game with abundance of caution, extremely careful to avoid possible risk. And also, uh, facing contrast ambition uh, to both sides. We're coming to power, eager to increase the tariff points. The game can go either way. It can go either way. That's what uh, people are saying. Others are saying it's a 3 1 for power dynamos. As at halftime, uh, Babo, that's what's happening elsewhere. Kawa Warriors with a 2 0 lead over Bitcoin. Yes, they know that once they get the three points out of Bitcoin, at least they'll go up the ladder and probably hang in there. Mm. And uh, Ziski United as well are leading in that game against the Green Buffaloes. Forest Rangers is the same. Uh, they are doing pretty well for themselves. And uh, if things go the way they are at the moment, Ziski United will be on second position. Look credit, at that. Credit to George Zondamin and his technical staff. You know, when they took over, they were not as high as they are. But uh, they are finding the right form at the right time. Third goal in two matches for Enox Sakala Jr., very good retain and Zesco United do have the resources and personnel to represent this country very well if they do finish in the mm. top two places. Oh. Looks like it's going to be uh, a photo finish this one but in Changa Rangers are not moving. They're still on 13th, Babo. Well, at least Zanako and Inkwazi are not pushing up. So good on to Nchanga. All they will need just is to maintain the performance today. Mm. That's right. We have to take a short break. And uh, when we come back, it is the second half uh, of the game involving Nchanga Rangers and Power Dynamos at Arthur Davis Stadium. As at halftime, it's nil-nil. <laughs> 